Good evening, uh, Two Shot fans. Today, we'll look at the situation in Ohio. A little late because we've been really drunk on the weekend. Uh, FEMA disaster team arrives at Ohio derailment scene. FEMA. So that's uh, that's from X Files. They had those guys in X Files. What are they called again? FEMA. What is FEMA? Foreign Exchange Management Act. That's not what FEMA is. The Federal Emergency Management Agency. That's it. What is that in X Files? Hold on a X Files. Also, according to Alvin Kurtzweil, when the alien takeover was set to commence in December 2012, the syndicate would have seized control of the United States via the Federal Emergency Management Agency, which had the power to suspend constitutional government upon declaration of a national emergency. Jesus Christ. The timetable has been set. It'll happen on a holiday when people are away from their homes. The president will declare a state of emergency at which time all government, all federal agencies will come under the power of the Federal Emergency Management Agency, FEMA, the secret government. Yeah, because there's been some aliens in the skies, and somebody was telling me they think that's to d distract away from the big story, which you can't get away from now, the train derailment. And then the controlled burn, which sent... Tons of smoke billowing, and, and and you know what? I know there are a lot of small towns around there, and that's bad enough. Are there any big cities like Columbus or Cleveland? Not that close, but guess what is close? Pittsburgh, right? They're right on the borderline on the east end of Ohio. Let's, Carlos, let's get that map up there. And yeah, so you can see Pittsburgh is only about, what is that, like 30 or 40 kilometers, so like 25 miles or something. We had chickens dying a while ago. I just seen this. I don't think it's going to get that bad, but honestly, when I start to see like 10 or 10 miles away, Chickens dying, it starts to make you think, like, obviously, you'd think you'd hear more stories, like, there's other chickens, there are other chickens, there are other cows, you'd think other, there would be another story, that's all I heard, it must have been, you'd think it's something else, like, maybe they just got COVID or something. Aliens, come on, two days ago, what if the plan of, what is the plan of aliens invade Earth? Holy crap, look at this video, they have all kinds of stuff. Okay. What, if aliens invade Earth? what if aliens invaded Earth? Let's turn it down a bit. You've definitely thought about it, but basically if it happens for real, there are a few things you need to know. First, the good news is that long before somebody need to worry about an alien invasion. Oh, where's the where's the captions? I even got them on you. I don't hear nothing. We have been looking. We've got loads of observatories searching for the stars. We've been listening for nearby galaxies, looking for any signal. So far, we found nothing. Yeah, but we've seen some aliens. What were the aliens? There was did we got E.T.? There's E.T. They're firing missiles at him from an F-22 Raptor. We're going to see if we can get call Dr. Chan here. Why is this story going? Pause on that. That's going. Probably not going to answer. I know how these things. North Lima, Ohio. WKBN. People across the Mahoning Valley, including those who live in Mahoning and Trumbull counties, reported smelling chlorine. I thought out of the corner of my eye, it actually said smelling cheese. Mon uh, after Monday's controlled release in East Palestine, officials said it wasn't dangerous, but one North Lima woman is skeptical about that statement. Even though North Lima is a little more than 10 miles away from East Palestine, Amanda Brashears said the smell caused her eyes to water when she went to let her dog out. She believes it could be the reason why her birds are now dead. She believes that the smell following the detonation of the train carrying chemicals that derailed in East Palestine is to blame for her birds' sudden death. Officials have said that the smell wasn't toxic or dangerous. But it still advised people in the Mahoning Valley to stay indoors Monday night as precaution. For them to say the air quality is okay, I'm calling BS, she said. And we were going to talk to Dr. Chan, but I think he's still in the hospital from drinking and driving. I don't know what it is with Dr. Chan. This guy used to be cool. Now he's an idiot. Wait, we're just getting word from Carlos. Dr. Chan is sick from the, the, the chemicals from Ohio. That's what happened. He was in Ohio, and then he breathed in some of the chemicals. He drank some? Oh, man. Dr. Chan is dead, and we're very sorry, Dr. Chan. Isn't there anyone else that can, like, talk? Don't I have any other friends? Who's this? Somebody's just messaging me. Fight the Future. This movie was fully immersed in X-Files lore, including a web of alien invasion and complex conspiracy. At one point, a shadowy figure tells Mulder that at the heart of the conspiracy is the Federal Emergency Management Act. Management Agency, whatever. Mulder has warned FEMA, the secret government, with the X-Files nine-year pursuit of UFOs, conspiracies, and the paranormal. Sometimes I wonder if these things are fake. They just get a bunch of fake smoke. They just set it up. They just make a, a fake a fake emergency just so they can do stuff, make news stories, move some people around, do a bunch of alien testing. I don't know. 
Maybe they just want to make China feel sorry for us. It's like, oh, they're hot bad enough now. We will not war with them. Well, okay, whatever. Send the bombers. Send the balloons. I'm afraid of balloons. I'm afraid of balloons. Wait, uh, Americans, Chinese balloons. I'm afraid of Chinese balloons. I'm afraid I can't help you. I'm afraid of Chinese balloons. Whatever. Are we recording here? Yeah, so that's it. What, what else is going on? Aliens. Is there any more aliens? Let's see if there's any more aliens. Like, I'm not really reporting anything. All I'm doing is just 